Welcome back to MidStation, I'm Jessica Tomas and this is PNN. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Here's today's lunch menu. Today for lunch, we're having country fried steak with a roll or grilled chicken sandwich with lettuce and tomato, or you can have the baked potato bar. And your sides are mashed potatoes and gravy, steamed broccoli, and a fruit cocktail. Here are your birthdays for the week. The ASVAB will be given here at SSHS on January 21st. Juniors and seniors who want to sign up to take the test need to put their name on the list that is located on the table in front of the guidance office. The boys and girls track and field teams are doing a Super Bowl Boston Butt Sale. If you would like one or more, see any track athlete or coach. It is $25 and Monday is the due date on January 27th. You will be getting 8 to 10 pounds of meat and you will pick it up on February 6th. Game Changers will meet on Mondays and Fridays in Coach Sykes' room at 8.15. And don't worry about being late. Come in when you get here for a great time of praise, worship, and fellowship. There will be a mandatory parent meeting on February 4 in the Media Center for anyone interested in being a cheerleader. It will be at 6.30 Eastern, and it will be for football, basketball, and competition cheerleading. Anyone who wants to try out for any type of cheerleading at the school must be present at the meeting with a parent. If you do not attend the meeting, you cannot try out. The Smith Station Wrestling Team will be holding their annual tournament on Friday and Saturday and they are in need of student volunteers to help the tournament run smoothly. If you are interested in volunteering, please see Coach Sanders in the gym. Scholarship applications for Southern Union and CVCC are available in Mrs. Scott's office. March 1, 2016 is the deadline for submissions of applications. You must have applied to the college before submitting a scholarship application. Ten graduating seniors from across Alabama will be selected to attend the Rural Minority Health Scholars Program at the University of Alabama from May 29th to June 29th, all expenses paid. Applications must be postmarked by March 1st and a minimum ACT score of 22 or SAT score of 1000 is required. Higher ACT or SAT scores correlate to a more competitive application. Please see Mrs. Scott for more details. Juniors and seniors looking to apply for scholarships can visit www.achievealabama.org to create a profile and start searching for scholarships to apply for. Now here's Kiara with New Year, New Me. My New Year's resolution is to be nicer to my siblings, I guess. My New Year's resolution is to make it through these last couple months so I can graduate because, you know, Class 2016 is the best. <laughs> My New Year's resolution is to be nicer to people because I'm a little mean. This year, my New Year's resolution is really just kind of a life goal, and it's to choose joy and to just really find joy in everything that I do, even when things get tough. Um, and then I guess a side resolution is that I am training for a half marathon. So, yeah. The college football national championship is tonight. Here's Blair Saunders with more details. Tonight, the number one undefeated Clemson Tigers take on the number two Alabama Crimson Tide as they battle in the desert. Alabama's defense has been almost unstoppable as they come out of the season with one loss and enter tonight's game after beating Michigan State 38 to nothing. On the other side, Clemson's spread attack led by none other than Deshaun Watson has led them to a 15-0 season so far after beating favorite at Oklahoma 37-17. All eyes will be focused on Arizona tonight as the class is between defense and offense, old school versus new school. Will Clemson win its first championship since 1981, or will Alabama continue its dynasty? The game will be on ESPN at 8.30, so don't miss it. Here's Mitchell with a look at your spring calendar. January 18th, MLK holiday. February 10th, half day. March 21st through the 25th, spring break. April 6th, half day. May 18th, last day of school for students. May 19th through the 20th, high school graduation. May 30th, Memorial Day holiday. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day, Smith Station.